All right, well, it's that sad time of year. <sighs> Starting to get colder out, so we gotta winterize the engines. Uh, what I'm gonna do is break it down to five easy steps, and uh, this is how I do it. Um, there's not really a uniform way to do it. You can do whatever you wanna do with your engine. Uh, I'm just very particular with mine, so I'm gonna show you how I do it, and hopefully it helps someone out. So the things I'm going to be using, uh, we have a wrench for the uh, spark plugs. Uh, this is for the lower unit to get the oil out, and this is to get the uh, get the throttle arm loose so we can uh, mess with it while we're uh, fogging. I just got a stable fogging oil. And I also have this uh, RV Marine. It's a safe safe antifreeze. Uh, at least that's what they say. I'm going to end up dumping this whole bottle into it, and then uh, have this little makeshift. I just cut a garden hose. I'm going to put a funnel at the end of here, and of course I have something to drain the oil in. Okay, so the first step, I'm going to be taking this out, and we're just going to warm up the engine. And once the engine is warmed up, I'm going to get up there and feed this funnel, and go ahead and run antifreeze through the entire, entire water jacket. I want to make sure I see that pink stuff coming out here on the side. stuff in. We gotta make sure it comes out of here. circulating through the engine to cool it. just let the engine cool off a little bit for a couple minutes <clears throat> and then I'm going to do it again eventually I'm going to run out of fuel you want to run all your fuel completely out of the carburetor you don't want anything in there all right so now that the engine is uh, definitely cool to the touch we're going to do it again and again this time we're going to be uh, feeding all three carbs and we're trying to get it to run out of fuel and the side bowl is probably about half full right now just from the first bit so we're going to go in uh, probably 30 second intervals just because there's no coolant going through the engine. We want to make sure it stays nice and cool.
Okay, at this point we should be getting pretty close. Pretty close to running out of fuel, so we're going to repeat the steps again. Maybe we're already out of fuel. fuel I'm gonna check I actually installed clear hoses in here just to see see if there's any fuel left if I click this button it should uh, the choke it should drop all the fuel which as you can see there's no fuel in that tube so the engine is completely out of fuel now all right I'm just gonna double check make sure we're completely out of fuel <laughs> So we're going to take out each spark plug and spray fogging oil directly into the cylinders. We're going to go through once, rotate the flywheel, go through again, rotate the flywheel again, and then go through one more time. Draining this, uh, some some of the L6s, L4s, some of them have a magnetic magnetic screw, so it'll get all the shavings stuck to it. When you're doing this, you want to look for metal shavings and or water, or maybe even a milky color. Milky color is the water mixing with the oil. All right, that's a little bit milky. A little bit looks like I got a little bit of water in my gear oil which I will address that <laughs> address that next year but if you look at the pin there's a few metal shavings uh, this boat was ran pretty hard this year a lot of hours on it for about four months so that's actually not bad not bad for the entire season but I mean the only way water can get into this lower unit is either the uh, seal uh, seal on the back of the carrier or the seal on the, the front of the carrier or through the bottom of the water pump housing and or shift shaft housing there's a, a rubber rubber gasket rubber oil seals inside there so next year I'll have to take a look at all those all those seals and that's really it's not horrible but it's definitely not good if I would have left this in there those little water molecules could have frozen up and expanded inside the lower unit if you have any water inside the gears, it'll actually break the gears, so or crack the uh, crack the housing. Yeah, I've uh, seen that. I did a video on lower units, and uh, two of them had big, giant cracks all the way through them from uh, them not properly winterizing or changing the oil. So we're gonna let that drain. There we go. Get the vent plug. All right, now it's starting to really come out. Whether you can see that or not. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the oil's done draining. 
tighten up the vent plug, place the plug in the bottom, make sure they're tight. Now the last step I do, which many will say is unnecessary, but I want a black bag the whole back of this area. I don't want any any air fluctuating, fluctuating here, and I don't want water to build up in here and then possibly freeze and you know damage anything like that. But I definitely don't want any air fluctuating anywhere through here. This whole this whole thing has been fogged, oiled, and lubricated. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right. So that is basically it. Now he's ready for the deep sleep. Thanks for watching.